Baseball from uh, this afternoon as we're going to chat about the Yankees and the Red Sox each in action today as they get ready to play Friday and Saturday in London. Uh, London, Bill Pito and Fernando Perez. Here we go with the Yanks and the Jays today. Yankees, the offense continues to amaze. They were down 5 nothing to Toronto Fernando. Didi Gregorius went deep. They now have a ho- at least one home run in a major league record, 29 straight games. DJ LeMahieu went deep. They ended up winning this game 8-7. to seven. They've won 11 of the last 12 games. Another record is 162 games a calendar year of baseball without being shut out. It's unbelievable. Yes. And so they win, and that means that their lead over Boston going into the series in London is now nine games because the Red Sox lost today. Chris Sale on the hill against the White Sox. And Sale has struggled. Yep. White Sox win this game 8-7. Boston was going for a sweep, but a Fernando the White Sox score eight runs and win it 8-7. The White Sox, nobody's so interested in them, wondering if they're going to have some pieces to sell. That man probably not going anywhere, although a lot of people want him, Mr. Abreu. Uh, that's not Mr. Abreu, uh, but folks want him. Sale getting roughed up. He won't be pitching in London. Uh, the first one, we're going to see Tanaka Porcello in London, okay? And that's gonna be, you know, pitchers, dual vibes, potentially. But we're wondering how this stadium is going to play. There is no stadium that plays smaller than Yankee Stadium. Uh, And then Eduardo um, Rodriguez is gonna be starting against this juggernaut Yankee offense. Probably a ton of runs. It's probably what people wanna see. But what's interesting about this crew of, of folks that like baseball over in London, this is a niche thing, remember. Nothing looms bigger than soccer in I mean, Europe do you think people London. are going to be interested in this series? You know overseas better than anybody. What do you think? Well, yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. That It's really a, it's a niche culture. You have a bunch of folks that are, you know, like uh, expats or, you know, having a father or mother that lived in the States for a while and having some exposure to the game. But really what has grown the game to this point now is social media and also stats. Um, you know, all of the interest in stats has made this a lot more accessible to lots of people. So if you are in some faraway country, you actually have a connection to the sport via this, even though you don't get to see it. Uh, The games are late. You know, it's very, very difficult. It's quite a commitment to follow a sport in another country. Um, And it's really been the stats and, of course, social media holding it all together. So the games are Saturday and Sunday in London Stadium. That's where the opening ceremonies of the 2012 Olympics were held. That's where they're going to be playing. How's the NFL? We know the NFL plays in London mm-hmm. every year. Is there a lot of interest in the NFL? How about the NBA versus baseball? How would you, what would you say? It. It's just that soccer is so big, you know, and then second banana cricket. I mean, what's interesting with baseball, I would say that London or, or the UK in general is maybe the third or fourth best market, uh, you know, for players or for fans for baseball. Top would be Germany. There's this amazing academy in Regensburg, Germany. I mean, we're talking great players that have come out of Germany in the last few years. Uh, Italy, maybe second. The Netherlands, possibly third because of Curacao, which is just a weird little unicorn there. I mean, maybe uh, England is fourth there. But, you know, there's interest, but it's niche interest, you know. Nothing will ever dethrone soccer. And then you've got cricket, which is also quite large. Basketball, not that big. The NFL, it's just more, it's a thing people like. So, of course, people like it anywhere, but not that huge. If you're on the Red Sox right now, you're concerned. You're nine games out behind the Yankees going into this series. I mean, the thing, it's a long season, and you can't say it enough, but it's just true. Um, you know, a roster can be infused, a shot in the arm, you know, say, I mean, we're not even at the break yet. Uh, so, so much could happen. I mean, Stanton came back. Stanton's going to be going out. I mean, we could be on this show in a week, and a couple injuries could totally uh, change the complexion of everything. So, um, But the and, Yankees' injuries haven't changed the complexion for them at all. Well, when you've got a ton of money, and both of these clubs do, but when you've got a ton of money, uh, Band-Aids are uh, easier to dole out. You know, when somebody goes down, you can make a move and supplement that, right? The Rays, fantastic team. When somebody goes down, it's a huge, huge problem. The Rays cannot recover from three injuries like the Yankees can and stay competitive. But right now, the big thing, I mean, Yankees need some pitching. Um, 
over on the West Why Coast. Why they can come back from 5 nothing down? Why do they need pitching? They, they score eight runs every single they, game Because out. they don't play in Yankee Stadium all the That's time. That's a good point. You know, they don't play in Yankee Stadium all the time. But they need some pitching. There are some names out there. Stroman, the Stroman Shield, exciting guy, right? Not exactly a game-changing, once-in-a-lifetime talent. There's been talk about Bumgarner, but Bumgarner's not having the greatest season. Bumgarner's, you know, he wants to tell you that I'm the same, etc. Can you trust that? We don't know. Max Scherzer, he's not out there, but in this way, in this world, everything's for sale. Now, for the Yankees and the Dodgers, the team that manages to get Scherzer, if he's even available, but let's just talk about it because it's interesting, the team that gets him wins the World Series. It's a near-perfect roster, the Dodgers roster. The Yankees roster is incredible, offensive juggernaut, right? Um, the team that lands Scherzer, I think, wins the World Series. Wow. Well, you heard it here first and uh, the All-Star break. It's, it's really not that exotic. It, it's just <laughs> around the corner in Major League Baseball. It's going very fast. For more great videos from the MSG 150, check out her right there. And remember, our show is on Monday through Thursday, 8 to 10.30 p.m. on MSG Network and MSG Go.